The irony is that Pakistan falls among such territories who is hardly addressing to the climate change and tackling the greenhouse gas emissions. Population is increasing at a fast pace on one side, and on the other side half of our population remains without a very low access to energy. The need of the R is that instead of producing power centrally, we should switch to climate-friendly sources of energy from fuel widely available around them. The light from the sun, the wind that blasts our hillsides, and the waves that batter our coastline have enabled huge technological advances in the renewable energy sector. Moreover, when we use plants and other organic materials such as harvest residues, purpose grown crops and organic waste from our homes, business and farms to generate energy, we burn biomass fuel. Bioenergy allows anyone with a certain amount of waste to produce green, reliable energy. Let's listen to Dr. Faiza Jawad Tariq, who is a microbiologist by profession and reviews about bioenergy. Basanko, my name is Dr. Faiza, and I'm a microbiologist. Today I'll be telling about what bioenergy is and how, as the microbiologist, use this energy. So, when we're talking about bioenergy, what comes to your mind? comes to your mind as a bio, it's a component of two things, a microbiome, something living, and the energy. The energy which comes from the living place, the fire sources and the animal sources. When we're talking about bio energy, talk about biofuels, we talk about biomass. Okay, what is biofuel and what is biomass? I come to biofuel first. Biofuel is a product which is made from the plant products or the animal products. How it is produced? Plants, they have seven arms in them, so they're fermented and they are taken so the forces of uh, these plant sources are the agriculture, the wood, the forestry department. They are the main source of plants. So what we do is these microbes, they help in fermenting. When we ferment, they nuclidize, they actually produce biochemical processes and the thermal processes, which is equal to, and I think much more renewable, and better than your fossil fuels. So this energy is utilized as fuels to produce electricity, to generate energy, to kind of work. So when you're talking about biofuels, I need to come back to biomass. What is biomass? Biomass is actually a product of plant or plant fat products. And uh, with the help of bacteria and fungi, these biomass help in regulating the production of carbon dioxide in the environment, which is in this one, which is produced by the fossil fuels and less damaging than the fossil fuels because this is reutilized back into the environment. It goes into the air and it comes back again. So it is a very renewable energy, very sustainable energy and the process of it is very much less expensive than that the one which was produced by the fossil fuels. We would recommend that in future these strategies by biotechnology, by utilizing the bacteria and fungi to produce more renewable sources of energy to produce less damage to your environment, less cut change the juice that you're facing these days, and of course, would be much healthier and more renewable energy sources. Thank you. Responsible use of biomass can be an important tool to fight climate change while providing other opportunities. In short, we as students should step forward to promote and teach masters how bioenergy can contribute to sustainable development while fighting climate change.